Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you and I have another haul behind me here. Um, but first my tea, it's holiday cheer, thank you. Um, you know who you are that sent it to me, it's peppermint. And it's in my R Riveter mug. I got this mug for Christmas, this is hand done pottery. R Riveter, or Rosie Riveter, is a company and if I can remember properly, it was set up for military spouses to be able to work from anywhere when they're transferred around and deployed and they have hand created things. I think I showed you, which should be out, it's New Year's Day right now and it's Wednesday and I think I have my what I got for Christmas coming out, all the videos guys. Anyway, this is the mug that I got and it supports military spouses and it was a gift and I love it. Mm. And my tea is delicious. So we're gonna sit that down. Dollar treeing. I went to a couple today. I've got some ideas for some Valentine's DIYs. Um, but first, I went to Michael's. I won't show you everything I got, but I got a gift card from my sister-in-law's mom. And um, I decided I needed some new paintbrushes because I'm just tired of cheap paintbrushes that they, you know, the bristles come out and all that nastiness. So I did pick up on the same vein um these aren't extra cheap but these were only $5.99 um, and you get some of the smaller bristle brushes which I do use on occasion but not all the time so these will tend to last longer especially the detail brushes these um these little ones right here the little pointy ones maybe a better view on the back there we go um, so I picked up this pack. It was $5.99. Um, these are wooden handles. So when you wash your brushes, you kind of want to be careful and make sure you get them dry or the wood will like rot on you. Um, these will last a couple, you know, good washings, but they're not, again, they're not a forever brush. Now you do want to be conscientious when you're purchasing what kind of brush you're buying. I hope that comes. Is that showing? No, it keeps trying to focus on my head. Um, it says acrylic. I use acrylic or chalk paint. Um, so you want to buy brushes that are designed for that. Like a um, watercolor paintbrush is not going to react well to paint with acrylics. So you kind of want to keep that in mind. But uh, these are great deal for $5.99 paintbrushes. But then I picked up these which these are individually, I think this is stage two. Yeah, level two painters. I didn't need level three because I'm not, you know, I'm just, I don't need level three. But these paint brushes are Zen from Royal and Langnickel. They're on sale this week at Michael's Buy One Get One 50% off. Um, I thought they were just 50% off, but I guess I read the sign wrong, so I got an odd number, but that's fine. Um, so I bought one of the chisel brushes and look at these are plastic and they're not or metal actually so they're not gonna succumb to overuse and washing i grabbed two of this one. Oh, this one is the one inch or 25 millimeter chisel and then this i bought two of this size and this is the uh three quarter inch and it's just a straight this is something I would typically use the most of. That's why I bought two, because I use different colors. Um, this one is the one inch with the rounded tip for like larger projects. Okay, I've got a stray hair over here. I'll trim that. But these are really nice quality. Um, and then I got one, which is a half inch straight as well. So these were about $4.99 a piece. I got them buy one, get one half price. Uh, I think maybe one was $6.99 and then maybe this little one was $3.99. But anyway, they're open stock. These are going to be the brushes that I'm going to go to to use. And I think they're going to be good quality and I can wash them up and keep them nice. So I used my gift card for that. Um, okay, let's get started on the Dollar Tree haul. I've got, like I said, some Valentine things coming up. Um, so the first purchase, <laughs> I bought some rocks. These suckers are dirty. Like if you can see this white dust, so I'm going to rinse them. Um, but I'm using them on gnomes to weight the bottom because these are going to be gnomes that I'm, I don't want to use rice for. I'm making a video on 
uh, gnomes. One is definitely not a Dollar Tree gnome, and then I'm gonna make a Dollar Tree gnome bow for Valentine's Day. But I will also break down the cost of the not Valentine's one so you can kind of compare. Or the not Dollar Tree one, the regular one. They're both Dollar, I mean, they're both. Girl, get your life together. I didn't even do anything last night. They're both gonna be Valentine gnomes. There might be three. Uh, Valentine gnomes. One, I bought the materials mostly at Joanne, and one, I got the materials at the Dollar Tree. I got it out. I just care, apparently, I haven't had enough caffeine in my life. I picked up two more of these. I have one already that I have my um, felting materials in. But this, these are great. I like the clear, so I had to dig through a couple boxes. I would grab them if you see them, if you need any type of storage. I like that the hinge lid, it snaps and locks shut. They are stackable. They are low profile, so you can separate and see what is in them. Um, I bought two, so I have a total, ouch, a total of three. Um, one of them I've already put to use with, I have to start keeping receipts, I believe, for the new year. Since I monetized my channel, I'm now self-employed, so I'm keeping all my receipts starting today so i'm going to have one of these and all my dollar tree um and any type of receipts ugh, my socks any type of receipt that i have that is you know for my channel will go in one of these i probably cricket something on here and then i'll go on the shelf these are great paint brushes can go in one of those all right i picked up let's look at the non Valentine stuff a three pack of these socks and these are what I'm going to use for the base of my gnomes even the one that's not Dollar Tree this is going to be the base it's just easy to use a sock opposed to having to sew and three of them for a dollar is a great deal so I grab these and these are men's size 6 to 12 because you want them to be able to be tall and big so I grabbed that um I grabbed a lighter because I'm forever burning candles behind me and in my room. And for those of you that did see uh, my home tour, I don't leave candles burning in my bedroom near my curtains when I'm not standing right there. If I'm in my room, I will light the candle, but I'm there. So I know it looked a little sketchy and like I was gonna burn my house down, but I got it guys, I got it. All right, so I bought a new lighter because my other one died. And then for another DIY I'm doing, I bought these two to disassemble. And then um, I will have that up hopefully next week as well. So those are for a very specific DIY. So if you notice, I had, I already hauled a set of those, but those are for my planner. These are not for my planner. So I did that. Um, oh, at Michael's I also got these stickers. And they're going to be for my January calendar at work because they're polar bears and I'm a little obsessed with the polar bear, which I need to paint that polar bear and take it to work um, for my desk. So I got those. These were 80% off of $3. And then I got this cording. You need to check your Christmas clearance. Gold cording can be used year round and it's actually going to be used in one of my Valentine um, DIYs. And this was going to end up, it was regularly $10. I paid $3 for it. And there's six yards of this cording, which is great. And these are good for like hanging ornaments or hanging stringing garlands and things of that nature. Sorry, I digress, but it was in front of me. I found the family sign. I did not find the home sign. And this is 100% getting painted. Not that I have a problem with the colors, but it doesn't go with my home or my decor. So it's probably going to get a good white and then maybe like gold accents or something or some such green, but it's getting painted. I can guarantee you that. Um, it's okay. It's not the best quality in the world. Um, they definitely have had better signs out, but it is wood It's MDF board and I think it's cute and I would like to see the home sign and then I would paint them coordinating I just haven't found it and like at my store there were literally two of these left so I grabbed that 
Um, for my gnome project, potentially, I will be using some gold. This is glitter wrap or diamond wrap in the gold. So I grab that. Um, okay, so now, ooh, wait, I got a couple, one other thing. I found the towels. Ooh, this one has a pull on it. That's okay. I don't use these. However, this is a cotton blend. So it's better than those microfibers. I cannot stand that microfiber. I can't stand touching it. Like I have one here. I'll show you in a sec, tell you what I'm going to do with it. It's, this is ugh, polyester and it like, I can't stand it, but I needed that. But this says, just beat it. Look at that guys. And I'm loving that mint green. Even though my kitchen is not i was on the hunt for the black towel that has the lemons on it because that will match my kitchen for summertime so i'm on the super hunt for those black towels and i don't remember what they say but they have two lemons on them and it's the same type of towel this i'll just put out when i'm baking or whatever um, but it was cute they had a bunch of these i just like this one that says just beat it yes um i did buy this microfiber towel that Again, I can't stand the way it feels, but um, for the gnome, this is potential for the gnome as well as these bandanas are potential for the gnome. I picked up this pack, which is red with white hearts, and then there's a pink and red. It's like a gingham or a plaid. I wouldn't really call that a buffalo check, although I guess it is a buffalo check. Um, so I'm not sure which or what is happening with the Dollar Tree one, but... I picked up these two for the hats potentially and maybe even like a bow or and I don't know. I don't know. It'll happen when it happens. Um, for another DIY, I picked up this tissue. So it's the white and gold hearts and the red and I love doing stuff with tissue um, and the wooden hearts. And I'm gonna like decoupage it on there. And I thought that was a good deal you get six pieces and I think you get three and three but I'll know when I open it um so this one has like I said the gold hearts and just the plain red I'm digging the red this year over the pink no particular reason um and I picked up some table scatter in the red hearts this is great for table but also they're flat on the back so you can hot glue them onto things they have these in red and pink, but as I just said, I went with the red. You can also like fill a jar with them or something. Um, did not see this. The let the metal words in love XOXO and Valentine. Um, so a little hint, they're hard to paint because it's metal. Last time I wanted to paint one black, I took some nail polish, cheap Dollar Tree nail polish, and painted it, and it worked out well. Um, so yeah, I think you can spray paint them, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And this time of year, it's very challenging to spray paint, uh, due to the weather here in Ohio. If it's too cold, spray painting just doesn't work and it's really not safe to do it inside. So, um, nail polish, if you want to change these up, I just picked up the one and it'll just go on my mantle. When I do this DIY, you'll see, I'll have a few Valentine DIYs coming up. Um, this will be featured in, well, talked about in one, and then hopefully, I was thinking this would make a good wreath, potentially, I don't know, or something, or just hang it like that. It is a glitter bomb, not gonna lie. And I'm not real impressed with the welcome, oops, Actually, I'm not overly impressed with the whole thing, but I wanted to show you some options, and so I picked it up. Um, you can use the backside, but you're going to have to deal with the glitter. It's all over my floor right now, so it will need to be sprayed. And right this second, it's going to go back into the bag because there's glitter everywhere. Um, I picked up <laughs> the treat bags with the white kitty cat on them because I'm a cat lady and these are totally adorable. And I think, you know, for goodie bags, there's 20 in here. That's a good deal. For work, school, classroom, you're gonna send in some treats for the kids. I would pick them up now before they're gone. Um, 
yeah, they're just super cute. And they just say happy Valentine's Day. And they have the white kitty cat. And I thought that was very appropriate for Lori. Mm. Delicious. And my allergies, it feels good. All right. I have a couple things left that are Valentine related. I picked up these. Potentially for the gnome beard. They're just uh, bows. I got them in the um, gift wrapping section. And you get two per card. I bought four. I think that would be a super cute gnome beard. I don't know. Call me crazy. But just in case, I grabbed that. And I grabbed garland. I'm not generally a garland fan, but... I thought maybe this is another potential for the Dollar Tree gnome for the hat or it could be a beard. Depends how you choose to look at it. But we're going to try some of that. I just was looking for beard stuff other than a mop. Because we've already done the mop. And then I thought for the nose. Um... Instead of a pom-pom, doing a little red heart. This is all for the Dollar Tree one. For the not Dollar Tree one, I grabbed pom-poms. I bought faux fur. I got some really pretty fleece in a nice red and almost a burgundy red. It's super pretty. So there'll be differences, but I kind of wanted to show you the gamut over here and over here. And I think that is everything. So I really hope you enjoyed. I've been crooked this whole time. My pedis or my tripod isn't working so great, I guess. All right, friends, I will talk to you later and I hope you have a great day. Bye.